Welcome back to the channel, I really hope you're all having a fantastic day today, it's a good day, well we've got two things sold, let's have a look what they are, just to be gold probably, eh, yeah, some bronzes I mean, but let's see what's been released on FIFA, I'm looking forward to it, hopefully we get some packs, some challenges that we can do, I have had a look on the way home and I've favourited them, I haven't really discussed or looked at them yet really, to myself, so let's have a look, favourites, these are the new content for the day. Now we've got a centre back card that we'll review after we do this challenge, it's a rare Electrum player pack, it's not the worst thing, I've just used what I have in the club already. It's a bit of overkill maybe because I'm on 78 rated, but you know what, it's an expensive SP but it's an untradeable one as well, but it's quite a big pack I think. I'm holding out hope, fingers crossed, I haven't had the chance to use the new players from last episode, as you can tell we got a new right wing, check the last episode if you want to see how we got that, that was excellent. But let's have a look, oh all rares, they're silvers but you know what? Holland's is a silver and he's like a 92 rated. I'm holding that hope. You never know. People across the nation who open this right now will get lucky. Hopefully we will too. Here we go. Hands are up. I'm expecting something. It's something. It's not a future card, but it's something. Left wing. Ah, oh, Costa. It's not the worst thing in the world. It's SPC fodder. And all, by all means... Ah, it's SPC fodder. It's a nice card though. But it's not usable anymore because of the shooting and the passing and the dribbling is relatively low, but... And what is his pace split? Is it actually anything good? And he's got free star. Wow. His dribble is nice, though. Stam is a bit low. And his pace split's perfect. Yeah. If you, at a push, you could use this card. How tall is this guy? He keeps coming in my life. 6 foot 4. Yeah, he's actually pretty decent. Anyone else? We get anyone decent. Why couldn't any of you guys be in future stars? That's all I'm saying. That guy's tradable, I like that. That guy's tradable. I'm also going to review before. I guess not, he's going to have to go, I'm afraid. But filled the club back up. We rolled the dice. We got an 84 for putting in a 78 rated squad. I think that was okay. Let's review what else has been released. It is this Daniel Uncamcanio. Butchered that name, but you know what? It's his fault for being called that. That's what I'm saying. Now, let's review the card. 6 foot 1 alike. Medium, medium. Is he a centre back? No, medium, medium is not my favourite. Right footed, doesn't he matter really, he's got 3 star, 2 star, that's bad. Why does it have 3 team requirements? It's just because the face stats look so good. Like, I don't think this... Oh, Jesus. Like, I like his physicals, 90 everywhere except Stam, and I don't really think you need Stam for centre backs. I like his defending to an extent, but he's not. he's got 97 jumping, but then he's got 80 heading. They've kind of balanced it out, and his dribbling is awful and I actually don't mind his pace split even though it's a bit further than I would for, like spread apart further than I would like it to be I would like both the acceleration and sprint speed to be in the 80s this better be 83s 84s at most 185 squad because I know there's three squads to do this and the packs better be decent and untradeable, untradeable for this to be worth it and if he rocks for your team, he rocks for your team. It's his dribble and it butchered. See, his dribble was also in the 80s. And it was just kind of all green, but all light green stats instead of it being that, where the balance is rubbish. He's not even that tall. He's 6 foot 1. And he was 6 foot 2. 84 with a team of the week. 80 chem. Jesus. 84 with a team of the week. 75 chem. But it's still two team of the week squads. That's 100 and something K by itself, these two. And then 85. 200K for this. Is it worth a 200k? Let's just say, let's take the packs off. Rubbish. Rubbish. Good. So maybe you take off 60k with the packs. I think that's decent to say 60k. So 200k player. 140k for this player. It's a no from me. Don't like his work rates. Don't like his height. Don't like his weak foot. Don't like his skill moves. Don't like his dribbling. That's where. I like his physical. <laughs> that's about it. Uh, and that's it when it's been released. Oh, 24 hours later, we'll jump ahead of time. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Watch this. Hopefully it'll be 24 hours. I'll see you in a bit. Tell me what you think, though. You can't... If it works for your team, it works for your team. I'm just not a big fan. Okay, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that first part of the episode. Today is quite an exciting bit. We've got this Serie A, the Juventus team to play. I've just, as I say, bought the most cheapest ones and used the players I already had in the club. Got 80 rated, 90 chem. Used some low rendered teams I've already got, M main thing is we've got a Mega and we've also done the Roma team, which I'm holding out hope for, a Mega's really good though, let's do it right now, so hopefully future stars, we'll go with the rare gold and the Mega, that's actually quite a lot of coin value, if you look at those packs, probably the best in the league, come on give us something, something, that'd be nice, it's something but it's no, Spanish, 
striker Aspas. Ah, of course it's going to be a Costa or a Morata. Yeah, it's all right. SPC fodder. It's not the end of the world, is it? <sighs> I'm holding out hope for the mega. Hold out hope for the mega, and then tomorrow's episode will be the rewards, and we get a Juventus player back again, as well as a Torrento player. Where his name is a Tor Torino, Torino player. Get rid of him. We'll. we'll keep these fitnesses but I'll list them on one time and a centre to cam is a nice card to get I must admit I'm a big fan of that oh come on here we go pray for you guys to end the video out mega pack it'll be very nice and we'll review some of the content that's been released in FIFA as well but it'd be nice to get something wouldn't it I think it would be something that's not wow a mega pack gives you nothing wow yeah you are really wow indeedy that feels good jeez Maybe quick and get a 81 plus or something done, eh? Because a lot of rare golds there. And we get Atlanta player, pretty good. <sighs> wow. It just shows you, doesn't it? It just shows you to don't spend IRL money on this game. The drop rate. Centre forward, the striker's good. Uh, I will honestly, for the recording, just discard this guy. Don't lose your mind. That's a horrible kit. So, that was, yeah. Uh, I reckon we can do. We can do. I'm. I'm. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> no speaking. I'm wrapping up. Twelve out of twenty of these done. So I'm going to probably get to Nelly or Dalbert when the time comes. But EA have released at the point of recording. The this guy. Now. I have an issue with him. He's free star, free star. He's not the tallest. He's got medium high. With medium high, he's either going to be an outside cam defensive or he's going to be the CDM, and he's not got the best weak foot. He's not got the best physicals in terms of strength. He's a good card, don't get me wrong, but like, he's never going to win any headings, headers. So there's no point. They, they would, if you see this, if you're against this card and he's got the same pace as that Tonelli, use the Tonelli. That Tonelli I just showed you. Or if you can afford his footmiss card, Tonelli, use him. This card's good, but then like, I looked at the price. See if it was just one team requirement and it was like an 85, it would be worth it. But two 85s, nah. The packs are nice, but no. Just know that with Tierney for me. Unless it really fits your team, are no-goes. As well as this guy here. Unless it really fits your team, it's a no-go. Same with him. If it really fits your team, it's a no-go. But then you have to keep in mind that a lot of these players might be getting winter upgrades. Like Werner the Burner will definitely get a winter upgrade. So, so that 89 will probably become a 90-something, which might be very, very good. But guys, drop a like, drop a comment, drop a subscribe. A nice short ending for the episode. We got some packs. We didn't really pack anything too crazy, but you never know, man. Roll the dice. Tomorrow is rewards day. I'm looking forward to that. You guys get and drop a like comment tell me how you're doing in your fifa road to glories or your fifa pay to wins or your fifa just jumping in play at certain times how are you doing i'll see you in the next one guys peace all right